Hey guys, Ryan. So today we're going to be discussing some of the biggest news that we've gotten yet for Season 11. And it's not even that big of news, but it's still exciting. I'm still very excited to actually, uh, actually have gotten some stuff because it's been very dull ever since Season 10 ended a few months ago. We have not gotten really anything except for those in-production teasers, but those aren't enough for me um but i think that these images actually do a good job of getting me excited maybe not everybody because it only included five characters um for me they're very exciting but also i know i've been very absent lately um yeah i'm not gonna go into much detail because there's really not much detail to go into but i just yeah haven't been feeling it too much lately but i'm going to for sure be here for season 11 and all that stuff like the um, the trailer, and then obviously the actual season, I'll be here, and all the information we get, I'll be breaking it down. Um, but, we got three images today, Entertainment Weekly, First Look exclusives, and I'm very, very excited about these, because there's two characters in particular I'm so happy that we are seeing, because we haven't seen them in a while, um, mainly because of the COVID episodes, like, you just can't have two people on set, one of them was busy filming another show, um... And then we obviously had, like, they were, well, I'll just tell you. So I'm talking about these pictures. I'll just put it up on the screen because you can't see it on my phone very well. So in this picture, we have Maggie, Carol, Rosita, and Lydia. And I'm very excited that we're seeing Lydia and Rosita, um, not only in one, but in two of the pictures because obviously those are some of my favorite characters that are on the show right now. Obviously, Carol and Maggie top them, but, like, I'm just very excited that we're seeing them because we've seen Carol and Maggie. Like, we will see them a lot in the final season, too. Um, but I'm very happy that we're seeing Lydia and Rosita. Um, and Lydia has Henry Stick, and Rosita has her iconic weapon as well. Um, but I'm very happy that we're seeing them because, obviously, Christian Serratos was filming Selena in the third part of season 10 and then Lydia obviously I think they were just trying to like keep it to a minimum of how many cast members they had on there um, for those episodes but and then we also see Maggie and Carol and it looks like they're in, in a barren warehouse and then there's it looks to me at least that there's like a helicopter in the back so that is very exciting they look like they just got killed finished or f they just killed some walkers finished you know obviously I'm sure they just finished a really awesome scene because that looks like a like power group, which reminds me of the scene from Avengers Endgame where like Captain Marvel, Okoye, Gamora, all those like women, you know, got together and they went and fought Thanos and stuff, which was very good, very cool. That was I loved that scene. I know some people really didn't, but those people are sexist. Anyways, um, very very happy with this picture because I'm happy that we're gonna actually see like. Carol and Rosita together because we can barely see them and obviously Carol and Lydia have a lot of chemistry Maggie Carol obviously and then Maggie and Rosita do and we'll get to see Maggie and Lydia together for the first time right so that's gonna be really cool and then we have another picture of them where they're actually surrounded which I'm almost thinking that this takes place after the first picture that I just looked at because these walkers are standing up and the other picture they're all dead on the floor um, but they're still in the same outfit still in the same location it appears so and that appears to be a helicopter behind them as well. So I don't know if this is just like a little like Easter egg. It doesn't actually mean anything, but it's just there. Or if there's actually like a CRM base that they went to that they found. Or I don't know. Um, but I'm very happy to see these four characters specifically because these characters are all in my top ten favorite characters right now that are like alive and on the show. Because um, obviously there's past characters that would beat them out. But... Um, very, very happy that we actually got these. And then this picture, I don't know why, but this picture just gives me super hyped because it's just like, I didn't expect this. When I see think of season 11, I never expected like a wood scene, fall, all these walkers around Negan by himself. Um, so I don't know why. Why is he by himself in the woods? Maybe they actually made him leave after the whole thing in the last episode with Maggie. Um... I'm not too sure, but this one it just gives me fall vibes as well, which I love. I think that's like the best vibes for survival because of Halloween and stuff like that. Like, it just makes it spookier and it's chilly, but not too cold. So I just love that, um, that vibe of the picture. And there's like 
there's actually quite a few walkers in the background, which I think is a great, you know, like, attention to detail, but very, very interesting. They all are wearing coats, so I'm thinking it could potentially be fall, close to winter again. I don't know how much time has passed in between the last winter that we had in the end of Season 9, but potentially we could be this far in. Um, but once I saw these pictures, I was actually so sad that, like, the Whisper arc is done. Because, I remember last season, they were giving off promotional pictures, and you had pictures of Alpha and Beta and stuff. And now that I'm thinking about that we don't have, and we'll never get those pictures again, it makes me really sad. Because that was, in my opinion, almost an underrated arc of the show. Because now, I've seen a lot of people saying that Season 6 of Fear the Walking Dead is better than Season 10. Don't agree, personally. Obviously, that's just my opinion. But um, I feel like the Whisper arc was underrated now because people... Now that it's like... I feel like it almost... I don't even know. But I just feel like that was a, such a special arc for the comic fans, maybe. Maybe for people that just were watching the show for the show and not previously read the comics like me and other lots of other people. It was just very... It was really special to see all those characters come to life, like Alpha and Beta and Lydia... That's why I think Lydia is one of my favorite characters, plus the actress is amazing, and the writing of her character, you just feel so bad for her with, like, how just messed up her childhood was, and then even into the apocalypse, it's like you're escaping from real life, because it's, you're in, like, this whole other world, like, the world's ended, she still has a horrible life, her mom still treats her like crap, um, but yeah, I'm just trying to see if I find any other details in here, um, but I really, this really got me excited, um, but now that like we've discussed all the pictures, I think it's time we talk about the trailer that could possibly be coming soon. Um, it's I believe they said like weeks ago, like three weeks ago, maybe two to three weeks, that it was coming in the next month. I heard that in like a Twitter live chat or whatever it's called, and or people were like guessing when it's coming, and somebody said that because the, the person that said this knew when it was coming, and they're like, "Yep." Yeah, that's pretty close, um, and I think they said within the next month, and they hear that, like, yup, that's pretty close, so, um, I wish I remembered exactly when this all happened, but obviously I don't, um, because I was going to tell you, but, I think the trailer's gonna come soon, I'm just, like, I've said this multiple times, I don't want them to release too much, because I don't want to go into every single episode really knowing what it's about, like, especially the last six episodes of season 10, you knew what every single episode was going to be about. Like, you pretty much did. You knew who the characters were going to be that were in it, and it just kind of... Like, I was excited, but some of them, I literally pushed off because I knew what was going to happen, and I wasn't excited to watch it. Like, episode 21 of season 10, I was not that excited to watch it because I've heard, I heard bad reviews about it, which I almost think, honestly, they just need to get rid of that because... Like, people shouldn't be able to watch the episode early. Those people don't do anything for you. We're all fans. We're going to watch it anyways. So I'd rather go into it with an open mind than going in thinking I'm not going to like it and then not liking it, you know? Um, but obviously, I'm very grateful that they actually did put those episodes together. I don't want to complain because, obviously, they didn't have to give us those episodes. Um, but looking at these pictures, it's so good to see all these characters again. Um, but the trailer, I am worry that they're going to give too much away, because they do that every year. Every year they give way too much away in the trailer. They make it like five to six minutes long. It's ridiculously long. Um, like last, in the last trailer, they gave away the whole Michonne and Ezekiel thing, which I think was just weird. Um, just stuff that didn't need to be given away. Um, but obviously, there's other stuff in there that, did, that, that they did very well that really hyped me up. Like, the border meeting, that really got me excited. So, I'm not going to complain, actually. I don't want to complain. I feel like I'm, I'm annoying myself. Um, but I really hope that we actually see some of these pictures. Like, the actual scenes in the trailer. Like, we'll see all these four um, surrounded and fighting the walkers. Or Negan taking out this walker. Um, very, very exciting, though. Because I, I do think that we'll definitely get it. We'll definitely get it within the next two weeks, but I feel like we're going to get it way sooner than two weeks. Um, obviously, I don't have any actual, like, sources to go off of or actual information, but pe they know when the trailer's dropping. Like, people actually know when it's dropping, so there's going to be somebody... I mean, they're going to be close to finishing it if somebody knows when it's... Like, they've already announced the date to people. 
Um, but I'm also thinking about when the final six episodes of season 10, the season 10B, or 10, 10C, that trailer, they announced the day before, trailer tomorrow. So, like, you knew. So, I feel like whenever we get something, it's going to be either announcing that it's tomorrow or just, like, a 15-second teaser. Um, but I'm sure they're definitely going to release a whole trailer. They're not going to, they're not just going to give us 15-second teasers till like, to hold us off. That's not going to work. Um... But I'm very excited because these three pictures don't give anything away. Um, but they look and excite me very much. I'm very hyped over these. And when I saw them, my heart dropped because I couldn't believe what I was actually seeing. I really... Because there's been a lot of talk, especially on social media, about how they just have not put anything out. And the final season is literally like two and a half months away, less than that. And they have not put very much out at all. So, and then finally today they did, but... Very, very exciting stuff, I think, for um, the fans that are actually excited for the final season and aren't just watching it to, like, finish the show just so they can say they've watched it, you know? Um, because I'm an like, I really want to see how this ends. I really want to see how what they do with it. Uh, because I cannot figure out, like, what the actual story is going to be. And I'm hoping they don't come out and be like, oh, yeah, it's, um, the Reapers are the biggest villain and then they make, like, a alliance with the commonwealth and then there it's like them and the commonwealth against the reapers i hope we don't get like all that i want to actually see it play out on screen and i'm reacting to the episode um but you'll see my reaction either way because i'll do a reaction of the trailer and everything but yeah my trailer predictions are we're going to get some good commonwealth teases we're going to get a lot of good stuff with our main crew and maggie and negan i think they're going to tease that like that showdown um like, we don't know what happened in this picture. My prediction is that Maggie exiled Negan. We don't know, but I'm hoping they don't give that away in the trailer, if that makes sense. Um, but I am, I'm so excited for this trailer, though, because this is, I think, going to be... This is the last trailer we'll ever get. This is going to be the most exciting part about um, the hype for Season 11. It's The trailer, whenever they release that, is always the most hype part of the season. Um, like, you're more excited for the trailer than you are for the first episode of this like the season premiere maybe that's just me but i'm so excited for the trailer um and that's what i'm looking forward to so i'll keep you guys updated on what i plan to do with the channel in the future um if i plan to go back to actually reacting to shows if you're interested patreon is like a whole season ahead of the 100 the umbrella academy is completely is completely finished um and star wars a new hope is up on patreon right now if you're interested in that um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. If you're watching this video after all this time I've been away, it hasn't been like too long, but it's been quite a, it's been quite a, a minute. It's been a hot minute, but thank you so much for like coming back and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I do, I apologize for not being here, but that's not something I need to apologize for. I just want to, um, but this is again, it's just a hobby. It's not an actual job. So that's what I've been telling myself and it makes me feel a lot better because that's true. This is a hobby. I'm not making a living off of this at all, so, yeah. Thank you so much, though, for supporting the channel. Let me know down below what you think we'll see in the Season 11 trailer, what you're most excited for, like, for them to tease, and if you've read the comics, what you want to see come to the screen for the final season. Also, I hope we get a tease at Mercer in the trailer. I'm sure we will, but, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.